Hello guys, welcome to Small Academy and in this video today I'm going to redesign one of my application that I have already created and posted the tutorials on the channel called Story App and some of you guys request me to add navigation drawer and the splash screen on the Story App so this is the Story App here you can see list of stories in displayed in recycler view and when you click on the story you will be projected with the details of that story so let's get started let's open the android studio and here i have opened the story app you can see and if i go to the builder gradle file here you will see a lot of android x library so that means i have upgraded my project from support library to the android x library uh, i'm going to start by creating the splash screen so to do that uh, we need one activity so a splash screen is always a full screen activity so if you want you can start by creating the full screen activity from here and you can select the full screen activity but the default android full screen activity comes with a lot of features and it will have the options to hide and display your toolbar and so on but we don't want that so it is a bit of overhead for our application so what we are going to do is we are going to create an empty activity and make that into the full screen activity so let's select the empty activity and you need to make sure that it is the launcher activity and name it to splash okay click on finish okay the activity is created here I have splash.java file and the activity splash layout file so uh, before doing uh, doing anything let me go to the android manifest and here we need to make few changes uh, since this is the existing app uh, we have our main activity as our launcher activity right so that means whenever we open our application it will display the main activity first but now we want to display the splash screen as our first thing when we open the our application that is the first activity we are going to display when our application is open so we need to remove these two lines of code from the main activity so in android manifest file remove this intent filter from here and save this or it is already saved anyway now whenever our application is open it will display the splash screen first so now we need to make this splash screen as a full screen right as i said to do that we need to uh, create a view in our splash.java here uh, i'm gonna create one view okay it will says uh, i'll name the view variable as m content view as always it is just a variable name you can name it anything you want right so now in the activity splash i want to display the title of my application and the progress bar to show some progress while the splash screen is loaded in the screen so this is the my application name and now i'm gonna add the widget from the widget pane that is progress bar to display some progress right so this is how my splash screen gonna look like when loaded I'll run the app now to see how it looks okay you can notice the splash screen but our splash screen still has that uh, toolbar and everything is showing right it is not full screen so let's make this full screen now and also you can see it is not going to not going anywhere because we have not implemented the logic yet right so now we'll do that let's go to our splash screen here I'm content view equals to find viewer id i'm gonna set the id here let's just say logo title say yes and i'm gonna get that title here okay so now we can set um, system flag on this content view so set system ui visibility method is used to uh, set the flag for this view 
So we need we can set a lot of um, system flag that uh, hide the navigation toolbar and so on. So I'm gonna copy and paste a few line of code here from my blog. So if you guys want to uh, see the source code of this uh, full screen activity, you can go to my blog. So here is my blog. And if I go down here, here you can see I have this flag set on this hem content view. So I'll just copy and paste from here and I'll describe the code. So I'll just paste it here. Okay, so here you can see we have used few flags. So system UI flag for low profile, full screen, layout is stable, immersive is sticky, layout hide navigation and hide navigation. So it will hide the navigation and it will make the our view full screen, right? So if you want to know more about these flags, you can always check the Android documentation file. Okay, so now I'll run this app. No surprise, it is full screen now. Now we need to implement one more thing here. We need to implement one thread here. So after five seconds or one second or two seconds, we can redirect user to the uh, main activity. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to use the handler. So handler class provide few functions that can be used to execute some code after a few seconds, right? So let me create the handler variable here. I'll just say handler. Handler equals to new handler. And we're, I'm going to use this handler object to call the post delayed method. And inside this, we're going to create new runnable. Let me close this by using semicolon. And here we need to specify the delayed millisecond. So after one second, I'm going to redirect user to the main activity. Okay. So inside this, I need to start the new activity. So new intent, get application context, because we are doing it inside the uh, post delete method. And we need to give the exact class name of the activity that we want user to go. So uh, this will redirect user to the main activity after one second. Let me run the app and show you. Okay, you can see now we are re redirected to the main activity. Okay, so that is how we uh, implement the splash screen in the Android application. So that is the basic method to do that. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and implement the navigation drawer in our application.